Eight on your side is Melissa Marino live in Tokyo this morning and Melissa Biles who dropped out of several events citing mental health has made a huge announcement. Good morning to you. That is right. Good morning, guys. So great to see you. Happy Monday. The best news ever. Simone Biles is back. Breaking news. She will go for gold in the beam competition, the beam final. That is tomorrow night. You will be able to see that in prime time. So fantastic news here. As we know, she's been dealing with mental health issues and had to pull out of three events. And great news in the beam. In 2016, Biles actually fell off the beam and still won bronze. That just goes to show how difficult her routine is. And and all of her teammates in the meantime they have really stepped up tonight all eyes are on team usa's jade carey we just watched her compete in the floor exercise final but don't worry we're not going to spoil it here and suni lee we saw we saw her win gold and bronze michaela skinner she stepped up for simone she won silver but once again the big news here simone great news she is feeling better and we're going to get to watch her on the beam in prime time tomorrow night and hopefully she goes for gold the goat though is back the greatest of all time uh, such good news. So yeah. many people yes. really wanted to see her compete this year. Now, Melissa, Team USA had a big weekend on the podium, inclu including uh, Clearwater's Bobby Fink. Oh my goodness. So guys, remember we talked last week when he had the amazing come from behind win in the 800 meter? Well, if you believe it, he did the exact same thing in the men's 1500 meter and guess what? He won gold. So he came out of the Olympics winning two gold medals for those two races. He, we got to speak with him last night and he said long distance, that's what he's good at. He's not good at these short sprint swims. Now he says he came into this not even expecting to medal. He just wanted to make it to the finals so needless to say he's still processing that he's winning two gold medals he says it's a dream come true and he hopes to inspire younger distance swimmers now i had to ask him how he got this extra burst of energy that he showed in both of the competitions here's what he had to say one of the main things our coaches worked on this past year with our whole team was having a second gear at the end end of a race so they've been harping on us so much this past year and it's a lot of people consider it just like a little thing but that little thing is what won me a gold medal so it's a pretty big thing <laughs> Yeah, it certainly was two gold medals that helped him get in Avery and Chris. We talked about it last week. It was crazy to see. He, it looked like he hit the turbo boost button or he had his Wheaties for breakfast. Either way, just an incredible win for him. Two gold medals. Now everyone certainly knows his name, the Clearwater native. Yeah, I mean, looking at the replay of the videos, Melissa, he was truly so far behind there yeah. towards the end. And just when you watch him just jet <laughs> forward like that, it doesn't get old. We are so happy.